When we think of stars, we probably think of tiny shiny objects in the night sky. At least that's how we see them from down here on Earth. But you see, stars are anything but small. In fact, one of the largest stars, Betelgeuse, happens to be much larger than our Sun. For years, this star has baffled scientists. However, recently, something more unsettling has been happening with Betelgeuse that's making scientists and other well-informed folks very concerned. Join us in this video as we explore the terrifying details about Betelgeuse, its imminent destruction as predicted by the James Webb Telescope, and how this new development will affect our galaxy and our lives right here on Earth. As described by physicist Michio Kaku, Betelgeuse is a cosmic wonder, a giant star that has interested cosmologists for so long. A Greek astronomer named Ptolemy was the first to discover it. This star is so big that it can be seen in the night sky from Earth during winter. If you're into constellations, you've probably seen or heard of this star. It is the reddish-orange star that marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. So you see, this star is ancient, and to date, it is one of the brightest stars in the night sky. But one thing about Betelgeuse's brightness is that it doesn't stay constant. Instead, it fluctuates. This fluctuation is one of the unique properties of this star, but it isn't the only one. Let's see some of Betelgeuse's unique properties. Most of the stars you see in the night sky are actually far from the Earth. The closest star is 4.2 light years away from Earth. If you don't understand how the term light years explains distance, Picture it this way. Imagine moving at the speed of light for a whole year. It's been proven that light can cover a distance of 186,000 miles per second. Hence, the distance light can cover in a year is equivalent to one light year. If you do the math, you'll have billions of miles. So when we say the closest star is four light years away, it means it's billions of miles away from the Earth. But guess what? Some stars are even farther, and Betelgeuse is one of them. Betelgeuse is located about 600 light years away from the Earth. So, if you were to go to it traveling at the speed of light, it'd still take 600 years. We can't move that fast, not even our fastest spacecrafts can. But yet, this star can still shine so bright in our sky. If you're wondering how Betelgeuse can be so bright despite the distance, that's because of its other qualities, like size and brightness. Betelgeuse is about 500 times bigger than our Sun, its radius is believed to be about 1,000 times that of the Sun. It is so large that it appears as a disk in space when using sophisticated telescopes, whereas other stars appear as little points of light. The disk appearance is suspected to be an effect of the reactions on the outer layers of its atmosphere. In terms of mass, Betelgeuse measures about 12, 19 solar mass. Solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by astronomers. One solar mass is equivalent to 2x10 to the 30th power kg. Scientists cannot determine the exact mass of Betelgeuse because there are no other planetary bodies orbiting around it to compare it with. And of course, we can't measure it directly from here on Earth. But it's confirmed that this star is at least 12 times heavier than our Sun. The brightness of Betelgeuse ranges from magnitude plus zero to plus 1.6. In more familiar terms, Betelgeuse is 16,000 times brighter than our Sun. No wonder it was nicknamed the Red Giant. However, the brightness of Betelgeuse doesn't stay constant, it fluctuates. This fluctuation is due to its pulsations. In other words, Betelgeuse expands and contracts. When it expands, it gets brighter, but when it contracts, it dims. This process can occur for 10 to 100 days or even more. One unique property of Betelgeuse is that its surface is covered in dark magnetic spots. The magnetic field in these areas is far more potent than on the regular surface. But the downside is that these strong magnetic spots inhibit the flow of hot gas to the star's outer surface, making the star cooler in these regions. The fact that Betelgeuse has many of these spots compared to our Sun explains why it's cooler than our Sun despite its size and brightness. The Sun also has its own dark magnetic spots, but the ones on Betelgeuse are much larger and very numerous compared to the ones on our Sun. To give you an idea, the spots on Betelgeuse can be twice as large as the Earth. Betelgeuse also has a magnetic field that is a thousand times stronger than that of the Sun, 
This field is why, when viewed through a telescope, the gases on the surface of Betelgeuse seem to be in loops or arcs. Betelgeuse has a surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin. This low temperature contributes to the low energy emitted by this star and its dim red color. Betelgeuse is a red star. However, it wasn't always red. It was yellowish about 2 million years ago, just like our sun. Over the years, the color started changing to orange-red. And then, about 2,000 years ago, it slowly started becoming the red star we know today. This fact has made scientists believe that the star is getting old. Betelgeuse emits as much as 7,500 times more energy than the sun. It might have been a fair rival to the Earth's sun if it weren't so far away and in its prime. The fact that Betelgeuse, which is 600 light years away, can still be seen and identified with the naked eye at night is quite impressive. Our sun is only 8.3 light minutes away from the Earth, which is why it is so effective. If Betelgeuse were just slightly closer, we might even been able to see it during the daytime. But if it were to replace the sun, it would swallow up or displace the Earth and the other four planets close to it due to its massive size. Moreover, even if it could fit, it emits more radiation than our sun. That alone would make it a bad sun for Earth. So maybe it was never designed to be our Earth's sun, just a distant giant red star that we can admire and study from afar. The red light from Betelgeuse is even more pronounced because of the distance of this star from the Earth. One thing about the universe is that it's constantly expanding. This expansion alters the light rays from objects and galaxies so that only longer light wavelengths travel farther. Red light has a longer wavelength than blue light, so at far distances blue light will not be visible, only red light. But as fascinating as Betelgeuse has been all these years, one thing remains clear. It is an old star almost nearing the end of its lifespan. You see, stars become red towards the end of their life when the hydrogen in their cores transforms into helium via nuclear fusion. At this point, the star slowly transforms into what space experts call a red giant. And from what we know about stars, Heavy stars age faster than light stars. Since Betelgeuse is about 12 times heavier than the Sun, it's dying at an accelerated rate. Also, this star's irregular pulsations and brightness are another strong sign that it's dying. Betelgeuse started dimming in 2019, but the lowest brightness ever recorded of Betelgeuse was in February 2021. This was when concerns about the near-death state of this star began to grow in the science community. But wait a minute, how do stars die? Well, they explode, something scientists call supernovas. So what is a supernova? If you've ever seen a nuclear explosion, just know it's nothing compared to a supernova. A supernova is a massive and powerful explosion that occurs when stars reach the end of their lifespan. An enormous amount of energy is usually released into space whenever a supernova occurs, making supernovas some of the universe's brightest and most spectacular events. However, there are two types of supernovas, type one and type two. A type 1 supernova occurs when a remnant of a low-mass star collects matter from a companion star until it reaches a critical mass that it can no longer bear. As a result, it triggers a nuclear reaction and the star explodes. A type 2 supernova occurs when high-mass stars like Betelgeuse run out of fuel and can no longer support their own structure. As a result, the star explodes, releasing an enormous amount of energy. A typical type 2 supernova will release light, heat and radiation. They can be so powerful that they can wipe out everything in their path. Sometimes a Type II supernova can emit light so bright that it overshadows all the other stars in the galaxy it is located. Type II supernova explosions also create heavy elements like iron, nickel and gold. These metals are formed during the high pressure and high temperature reaction, then scattered into space as the star explodes. As they enter space, they get added to the new stars that will emerge from the supernova. Supernovas mostly result in the formation of new stars or planets thanks to the shock waves that accompany the process. So, what kind of supernova are we to expect from Betelgeuse? A Type II, of course. And this is what Michio Kaku fears now. Betelgeuse may blow up sooner than we think. Now, is this good news or bad news? Well, it all depends on how things turn out. The last time a supernova occurred in our galaxy was in 1604. Typically, supernovas are very beautiful and produce beautiful colors, too. Despite their beauty, they're not something you'd want to see up close, as they can be quite deadly. What would happen if Betelgeuse supernova hit Earth? 
You see, one common trait of supernovas is the high energy radiation they always emit. A typical supernova will release a burst of gamma energy a thousand times more powerful than our sun's radiation. Surely you know what severe effects the sun's radiation has caused since global warming became a thing. Well, it'd be a thousand times worse if a supernova's radiation were to get to Earth. It could destroy our ozone layer. For one, the shockwave alone could be devastating. If it gets to Earth, it can wipe out nearly everything on the surface and make life on the surface very terrible. Several creatures, including humans, would die off and will face another extinction-level event. Popular belief is that something like this had happened in the past long before we got here. Scientists and researchers speculate that a mass extinction occurred about 300 million years ago as some rocks from that time seem to tell that story. Again, a supernova would ruin our atmosphere. Imagine if the sun came so close to the Earth. How many things would survive the heat and radiation? Such high-level radiation can alter your DNA, and I don't mean that in a good way. Radiation won't make you transform into the Hulk or give you superpowers. That only happens in the movies. Instead, a typical radiation overdose will melt you from the inside out. So if Betelgeuse goes kaboom, these possible catastrophes might befall Earth. Some theorists believe humans can only survive such a radiation blast if we run underground and live there. The Earth's crust is the only thing that can absorb such radiation blasts. So if we can evolve to live underground, we'll be safe. But then, some of the world's scientists and cosmologists believe we don't have to worry about Betelgeuse at all. They say we're safe since Betelgeuse is so far away. But you see, the thing about science and the universe is that we learn new things every day. For instance, the James Webb Telescope recently discovered six massive galaxies in space that are just as large as our Milky Way galaxy. Before now, scientists never knew that these galaxies existed. They didn't think galaxies of this size could exist until the James Webb Telescope proved them wrong. And guess what? These galaxies contain just as many stars as our Milky Way. The discovery of these stars made scientists question everything they thought they knew about the universe. And it also leaves us wondering what other information we've been told that may not be entirely true. And so, the belief that we're at a safe distance away from Betelgeuse supernova may be wrong. We don't know what other superpowers or abilities Betelgeuse has, as we've only been able to study it thanks to the latest inventions like the JWST. So far, Betelgeuse already possesses several unique abilities like the pulsations we talked about earlier. Its supernova may surprise us even more. The particles from a Betelgeuse explosion could get carried to Earth at speeds faster than light speed, or perhaps the shockwave from its explosion may trigger the spontaneous eruption of another star that's close to us. The Capella is only 43 light years away. If a star like that gets triggered, the Earth will definitely suffer from its after effects. So let's say we're safe from the blast, and it doesn't get to us. What other effects would we feel from Betelgeuse explosion? Well, it'll only be light effects. You see, a supernova majorly releases light and energy. So if Betelgeuse exploded, you'd find its bright light in the sky anywhere you are in the world. Science research has predicted that a blast from a giant star like Betelgeuse can result in a light so bright that it will be seen even in the daytime. It'll just be like seeing a faint red star shining close to the sun in the day. But that's not all. It's also predicted that the resulting after effects of Betelgeuse supernova will shine brighter than the moon. Now this doesn't mean we will have two moons on Earth. You see, the bright lights from Type II supernova blasts don't last forever. At least they last for two weeks and at most a few months. And so Betelgeuse supernova may light up the day and night sky for about two months or more, after which it'll fade away. What will become of Betelgeuse after it explodes? In the following years, after Betelgeuse explodes, it'll leave behind a black hole. When heavy stars explode, they often leave a black hole behind. However, if a black hole doesn't form, what'll be left behind will be a diffused patch of faint light. In a few years after that, this leftover light too will fade away. So the final question is, how soon will Betelgeuse explode? Well, we can't say for sure. Some scientists believe Betelgeuse supernova may still take a thousand years to come. But given this star's current level of dimming and pulsations, these groups of scientists may be wrong. The fact that renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku raise the alarm shows that Betelgeuse is on the verge of collapse. It might happen within the next hundred years, a decade, or even in a couple of years. 
After all, in 2019, when it first started dimming, scientists discovered that the top of Betelgeuse physically blew up, releasing a considerable mass of itself into the surrounding space. That may have been the warning sign to prepare us for the incoming supernova. But we don't know for sure, we must keep our fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. If you would like to watch another exciting episode, click on the video thumbnail now showing on your screen. I'll see you there.